lot of my late 40 and 50 year old active patients have been coming in with dum 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 trigger finger more specifically the thumb with symptoms of catching and snapping. This is a rising problem and it's happening so much that I needed to create a brand new exercise for those of you who are plagued by it. So why does trigger finger happen? How you incorrectly grip things like a racket or overuse a cell phone could trigger incorrect finger muscle use. Also, trauma when your thumb or fingers was hyperextended can cause the intricate pulley system of the flexor tendons to be disrupted. I like to use an analogy of a sliding screen door when it's knocked off its tracks. It gets slow and sluggish, and then this tracking issue will inevitably start needing more effort and then snap back and forth along the tracks as you close or open the screen. So this is what happens between the tendons and the sesamoid bones of the thumb or the phalanges of the fingers. All we need to do is get it back on track, right? So there are several phases of trigger finger as it goes from bad to worse. Phase one is inflammation of the tendon causing some pain. Phase two, clicking or popping sensation of the finger. And phase three, the finger is locked or stuck in a bent position and must be manually brought back into a straight position using the other hand. You're likely here looking for a solution because you're somewhere between phase two and three. We'll explain the easy self-treat next. So here's an easy treat. You basically want to pull on the tendon of the thumb or your fingers and then start wiggling it around. So you can go all the way up and find that and we'll have a close up as well. Um, and you're wanting to pull it out. And then you want to figure out, is it a shortening problem or a lengthening problem? You want to pull it, as you pull it out, you want to pull it up or pull it down. might find that especially in these grooves of the fingers that they like this my thumb needs to go up more than down it has a little bit more give and then I just kind of work my finger straightening and bending straightening and bending so that's basically what you could do you could do little circles with it and oh right here my index finger needs a little bit of love shortening so I'm trying to pull it down so you just basically want to do that and then that creates a little bit more length and increases pliability so things can get back on track and slide better. So how do you know you're getting better? Well, there's less snapping, less pain, especially in the morning where many of you complain is worse because you've been in a static position. So with this exercise, you're gonna give it some lube. Let us know your thoughts on our video. Leave us some love or questions in the comments box below. Like and subscribe, we appreciate your support. I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.